Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at inheritance in Kotlin. It will take a few videos to cover this fully, but we'll start looking at inheritance here. So we'll have a class person. We can imagine that this class might have a bunch of methods and properties. We haven't given it any, but just imagine that it does. A common thing to want to do is to create a subtype of your class. For example, we might want to create a class employee. Now employees are a type of person. An employee is a person. So it might make sense that employee has whatever properties and methods the person class has. And that's what we use inheritance for. The idea is to create more specialized varieties of our objects, which we can add additional methods and properties to or change existing methods in where necessary. Let's maybe add a method to person to demonstrate this. Let's have a function speak. And in there, I'm just going to do hello. Now to make employee a subtype of person, in other words, to make employee a kind of person, the first thing that we need is to write open here with the class declaration. By default, classes are what we call final in Kotlin, meaning you cannot create subtype classes. You can't create derived classes like we're about to do. To fix that, we have to add this open keyword to the class. Having done that, we can put a colon after the employee class name and write person here, except I need to make sure the correct constructor of person is invoked. Remember, classes can have multiple secondary constructors that take different parameters. So here, since there is only a no parameter constructor of person, I'm going to write open and close brackets like this. So now we can actually create a employee. Let's say val emp equals employee. And because employee is a kind of person, it's going to inherit this speak method. So let's do emp.speak. And if we run it, you can see that employee does indeed have a speak method which it inherited from its parent or super type class, person. There's a certain amount of jargon around object-oriented programming. Everything you really need to understand is largely here in this code. So if you can manage to type this kind of thing and get it working, you're in good shape. Now this is legal Kotlin, but I'm actually gonna put round brackets here to emphasize that the primary constructor has no parameters. Now, what do we do if person actually has some properties? Let's give it, for example, a val name of type string. Now we have to deal with this somehow in our employee class. And the way we deal with it is like this. First of all, we need to say that name can be passed to the primary constructor of employee. Notice there's no val here or var because we're not declaring a new property. We're basically declaring a parameter for the primary constructor of employee. It's not actually a property, only this is a property that will be attached to every object we create and will persist for the lifetime of the object. And then we pass name onto the person primary constructor here. We can use name in this method, for example, let's say, hello, I'm dollar name. And when we create the employee, we now have to specify the name. Let's go with Bob. So if I run this, we have an employee that says, hello, I'm Bob when you call the speak method that it inherits from person. And part of the value in doing this is that you can then add additional methods to your subtype class, which makes sense for that particular specialized kind of class and don't make sense for the super type class. So for example, we could add here function on holiday and this could set the employee into holiday mode or whatever. Let's just print something here so we can see it working. I'm on holiday. So we can call the holiday method if we like. So in short, when we have a class provided it's being declared with the open keyword, we can create more specialized versions of that class. These more specialized versions we call subtype or child classes or derived classes. And the classes they derive from we call the super type class or parent class or base class. It's important to realize that the relationship between the subtype class and the supertype class is a relationship which we can call is a. 
So an employee is a kind of person. Whereas, for example, if we had a car class and we had a steering wheel class, we would not expect the steering wheel to inherit from car because a steering wheel is not a kind of car. An employee is a kind of person. The relationship between car and steering wheel is that a car has a steering wheel. It's not that a steering wheel is a car. So our car class might have a steering wheel property, but one is not going to derive from the other. If you're completely new to this, the important thing here is just to try this out, maybe experiment with it a little bit. It does take practice to get used to using it and to figuring out how to best structure your code with classes. And the first step is just to try some code like this and see what it does. So that's it for this video. Until next time, happy coding.